About a year ago, I acquired these DJI mics and they've actually been one of the best investments I've made. DJI has now launched their DJI Mic 2 and I've been fortunate enough to test them. Without revealing too much right away, I can say that a really good job has been done with this pair of wireless microphones. Of course, with some minor quirks. What's new with DJI Mic 2? The box they can be stored in appears to be of much better build quality. In my opinion, it's much more appealing than the previous one. Especially the new locking mechanism I really, really like. I really like it since there were times when I could accidentally open the box if I was in a hurry with the previous version. They have a brand new design and the receiver itself resembles the crown on my Apple Watch Ultra, which I'm a huge fan of. It's a nice addition as it makes navigation a bit easier. Personally, I didn't have any issues with the previous design. I thought the response was quite good. However, it's nice that they have added this crown for easier navigation. I'm a huge fan of the fact that the screen has become a little bit longer. It's quite easy to actually navigate now, at least without mistakes. As you can see, the transmitter also have a new design. It seems a bit more premium, but I actually like the low key design of the old ones better because it was easier to blend with the black design. So if only they had made their logo a bit less prominent, I would have been more than satisfied because this stands out way too much in my opinion. You can now also get some white transmitters, so if you're recording people wearing white, the transmitters will blend in better. A great little addition. They now come with 32-bit float that you can activate, ensuring no clipping of the sound. It can be incredibly useful in scenarios where the sound may get very, very loud. However, most people would probably just use 24-bit audio most of the time. And that's simply because the 32-bit float is only internally. That's kind of a bummer in my opinion. Similar to the previous version, you can replace a small part at the back of the receiver and connect it to your phone. However, it works a bit differently this time as the camera mount is locked and there's just a small part at the back. Still, it's much better than the previous version as I had real issues taking it off and putting it back on occasionally. One thing that many will appreciate is that it's now possible to connect them directly to your phone via Bluetooth. You can still use the receiver and replace the clip at the back but I always found it annoying and in the way. I'd actually told friends and family that it would be great if you could just connect it via Bluetooth. And voila, DJI Mic 2, that's all it took. So I'm a huge fan of that. The only issue you have when you connect a DJI Mic to an iPhone is that Apple's own camera app doesn't function as intended. So you need to use a third party app like Blackmagic camera app. So that kind of sucks, but it's also Apple in a nutshell. The microphones now also has noise cancellation, which is kind of like an intelligent voice isolation feature, which you can activate by clicking the power button once. However, I'm not hugely impressed by the sound when it's turned on, so most of the time I would strongly recommend you not to use it. But it can be incredibly handy in situations where many people are gathered in the same place, since it isolates the sound from others very well. This is the sound you're getting with the noise cancellation turned on, and this is the sound you're getting with the noise cancellation turned off. Which do you like better? The microphone also comes with the option to use a safety track that records minus six decibels below the regular sound. It can be a smart way to save the sound if your friend accidentally blasts your eardrums for a moment. Like if he yells like a crazy madman. Then it's quite nice. I also really appreciate that they've given the receiver a slightly smaller footprint. Just slightly. In the package, just like the previous one, there is a windscreen for the microphones, but I think they've gotten a significant upgrade. Because now it has to be inserted all the way into the TRS input, instead of just being screwed on top. I have a few times experienced the windscreen popping off when it was on clothing, but you shouldn't worry about that happening with the new windscreen. The magnet on DJI Mic 2 has also become significantly stronger, which is great because the previous one, when you had clothing in between, it wasn't super strong, but this one certainly is. One thing I find really cool is that you can find your camera in the menu on the receiver. There are some recommended settings, so if you choose to use them, it will set the microphone for your camera. However, I would say that you shouldn't blindly trust it because it threw plus 9 decibels to my FX3 camera, which I'm recording on right now, and the sound clipped because it was also quite loud inside the camera. So still, be aware of that. My absolute favorite setting is also that you have the option to set up the receiver to automatically turn off with the camera when you turn it off. 
I usually like to leave the receiver on my camera quite often and there have been several times I forgot to turn off the receiver on the previous version and the battery was drained as soon as I needed them next time. A bit annoying. However, only the receiver has an auto on off function so you still have to turn off the transmitter afterwards, something to be aware of. But it's fine in my opinion, it kinda doesn't bother me that much. The case used to charge the microphones also has an additionally 3 hours of battery life, so they have a total of 18 hours now. Whereas the previous ones only had about 15 hours, it's not a significant difference, but it's quite nice. With the previous microphones you also got this somewhat slobby storage bag, while this time you've got a storage bag with compartmentalization, and it just feels much more premium overall. I don't think it's the biggest upgrade, so if you already have the first version like me, I would really think it over and reconsider whether the new features DJI Mic 2 comes with are really that necessary. They've also received a lot of backlash from other people, however I haven't noticed any problems so I don't know if I've just been lucky or if it's just some people who's experiencing issues. But I can only review the things I've noticed and I really haven't noticed any issues. And I've had them for like 2 weeks by now. They've worked perfectly fine for me, at least. If you don't have any wireless microphones and have been looking around the market, I would definitely recommend the DJI Mic 2 over anything else. It's not a huge overhaul they've done with these microphones, but there's a lot of improvements from the first version, so as I said, I would probably choose them over a lot of other wireless microphones. That's all I had to say about the new DJI Mic 2. If you liked the video, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you like tech and photography, videography and so on, gear in general. I'll see you in the next video, so stay tuned. And I'm out.